Elf just released some new lipsticks and we gave them a try. Hey, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are talking about a new lipstick from Elf. It is the O Face Satin Lipstick. And I am so excited about this. One, because I love lipsticks. And yep. two, I love matte satin lipsticks and I'm really excited. And e.l.f. has really stepped up their game a lot with their new products. So with all of their products. So I was really, really yeah. excited about yeah. these. Because I am a fan of e.l.f. products Me too. for two reasons. One, they're very affordable. They're very budget friendly. And two, they are quality products yeah. for that budget price. Yep. So I was so excited when we saw that they were releasing these. So this is the O-Face satin lipstick. So according to ELF's website, they are saying that this is a richly pigmented satin finished lipstick that delivers a full rich color with just one swipe in a comfortable creamy formula that lasts. And not only that, but it is also a nourishing formula that is infused with marula oil, squalane and jojoba esters to moisturize and soften your lips and it's available in 10 shades and it also has an ultra luxe soft texture packaging that has a magnetic closure jojoba that's fun to say. Jojoba. <laughs> okay what this product does not claim to be is an all-day lipstick so it's it doesn't claim to wear all day and it does not claim not to transfer so we're not going to be judging it on those two criteria of how we judge these lipsticks. And as always with e.l.f., what do you look forward to? It's the price point. And all of these lipsticks come in at a retail price of $9. So that is a really good price, I think. Yeah. So there are 10 shades and, and these, they're calling them sultry Ooh. shades. So, um, so there are 10 of them and they are standing ovation, which is kind of a, a peachy yellow brown. Mm -hmm. And then Dirty Talk, which is a beige pink. Drive, which is a rose brown. Mm. Effortless, which is a dusty mauve. No Regrets, which is a blue red. Vocal, which is terracotta rose. Shameless, which is a pink plum. Hustle, which is a golden brown. No Doubt, which is pink brown. And Own It, which is a burnt deep red. So one of the criteria is you get coverage in one swipe. So what did you think about that? It absolutely one swipe. I mean, yeah. and, and not just light pigment, yeah. full, full pigmented mm -hmm. color in one swipe that if you didn't want to go over it again, mm -hmm. you didn't have to. Yeah, I, same thing. I one Once on the top lip, yep. once on the bottom lip, I did have to go back because I get a little shaky. So I might have missed it. So it was user error, not product error that I, if I had to go back, because like you said, with one swipe, this is the color that I got. So. And it is buildable. So if you did go back over, mm -hmm. it didn't feel like all of a sudden it got really dry or sticky or, you know, it, it just didn't feel like you put right. more lipstick on. It was just, a. it was still a nice moisturized feeling. Okay, so that kind of leads us into the formula. So what do you think about that? It's definitely a creamy formula. It really makes your lips so moisturized. I do not feel like they are dried out at all. They don't look dry. So I will say that the formula is really a nice formula. Yeah, I agree. It's, it is very creamy and um, and my lips do feel moisturized and not not as much as like if you put on lip balm or lip gloss, right. or, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but they don't feel dry. They they just I feel like I have lipstick on, mm -hmm. um, but it it's exactly what I would expect from a lipstick. So for me, it is perfect. Yeah. With it being a creamy texture, do you think it it accentuates or de-emphasizes any texture in your lips. So I think for me, because it's a satin formula, not only is it creamy, but it's satin, yeah. that it does accentuate my lines a bit. I see my lines a little bit more in any kind of texture I have in my lips, a little bit more than I would with another type of lipstick that maybe is not satin, mm -hmm. is more like a gloss. However, what's interesting is on the website, they do say, they do suggest to use it with their lip exfoliator, which I did not do, and that could make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I find that I have very textures. I have I have lines all through my, you know, I have very textured lips. So I, I it doesn't, 
accentuate that, but it doesn't de-emphasize that either. So I'm not unhappy with the look. It is what I expect from a lipstick. Right. And, and so I'm not unhappy with the way that it, that it looks. I'm actually, I'm very happy with the way, with the color and the way that it looks on my lips. Agreed. So did you use lip line with this? I did. You know, they also suggest to use their um, triangle lip filler liner and we have it. We did actually the review this a we while did. back when we reviewed a lot of different e.l.f. products. So we we'll did. link that video up here if you want to check it out. Mm -hmm. um, but it is one of my all-time favorite, favorite, favorite lip liners. And so as soon as I we decided to try these, I'm like, oh, I know what I'm using because I do need a lip liner. I do too. And I do think that using a lip liner enhances the lipstick definitely I, makes it look like you have some depth. Like it just doesn't go right into your skin. Yes, I, I have to use a lip liner for two reasons. For that reason, and also I have very thin lips. So I need all the help I can get. So if I have to draw it on a little bit, um, <laughs> that I, this works perfectly because it doesn't bleed. Yep. It doesn't, and it prevents the, any lipstick that I use from bleeding. So it, and it, and it does stay. Yeah. It, it, it really does stay uh, quite a while. So I, I really like the pairing of this lip liner with this lipstick. I think it's a really good match. Yeah. And so it's very exciting. <laughs> It's a match made in heaven. It is really. What do you what do you think about this shade ranges so though? These sultry shades. What do you think about yeah. what do you think about these? So I do like the shades and of course I do have a clear favorite. I am wearing it right now. This one is the shade drive and it is the um it's the rose brown and it's definitely the colors I tend to lean towards. Um they do have a lot of you know, not a lot of, but they have some reds in there that I typically don't find myself, you know, leaning towards. I like the browns, the nudes, or, you know, like the darker pinks. What was missing in here for me was um, more like darker mauves or plums or that kind of shade, which I love. I, you know, if I'm not going towards the browns, I'm going towards those. And they just kind of skipped over those. Yeah. There's a lot of pinks and, and dusty mauves, but I would really like to see a darker mauve or like a plum. Yeah, I I really, I thought the, for having only 10 shades, I thought they tried to cover everything well. Yeah. I am a red lipstick fan. Yeah. <laughs> I am a fan from way back. I just always gravitate towards red lipsticks. And I like the more blue reds, although I'm happy with any red, really. Um, and I love this. This is no regrets. And this was my favorite, my clear favorite. Uh, and again, it paired well with the red lip liner. Um, I am just, I am in love. This is just right up my alley. So I will say the one kind of shade that I was missing, I will agree with you, is more of like a berry, like not a dark berry. Yes but more yes. like a berry color because mm -hmm. I do like that too. And I think that complements my skin tone and my, my coloring very well too. And that was the shade, that was kind of a shade that I was missing. They had kind of a plum, but it was lighter. And so, and then they had a darker um, kind of berry red, but they didn't have that, um, just the one that I, you know, the one that I was looking for, the kind of plummy berry one that, that I was looking for. So that kind of, that was really the only shade that I was missing because I don't wear, um, more of the tans and the yeah. nudes because I have thinner lips. So I just don't think they're complementary to my lip shape and my coloring. So, um, but yeah, so I was really happy with the shades. I did try two of the, I didn't try every single shade, no, but I, I did try more of the browns and they, there were two. One is called Hustle, which is a golden brown. And then No Doubt, which is a pink brown. And I was so kind of disappointed because those just kind of got lost on my lips. Yes. It kind of just went right into my skin tone. It didn't look like um, yeah. that it really stood out at all. So I was a little bit disappointed in those, but. Yeah, and I had, yeah, there was a couple that kind of got lost on me too. Like It's very easy because again, I have very thin lips. So, so I kind of need a little something to stand out. Otherwise I feel like it, why bother wearing lipstick? Because right. it doesn't look like I'm wearing anything either. Although I think that, some of these um, could be enhanced and look a little different if I'm wearing like a self tanner or yes. something. Okay, so it is not an all day wearing lipstick and um, it doesn't claim not to transfer. So they don't make those claims. So we, you know, that's not really something that we considered when we were evaluating the product. Right, And but I will say with this particular shade, which is Drive again, 
Um, I had this on pretty much all day. And I will say that it lasted several, several hours before it started to fade, like right in the middle. You know how when it starts mm -hmm. to, to fade in the middle and then it's only around the outside? Mm -hmm. But it transferred to my glasses, you know, my cups or whatever if I drank. But it took a while before it started to fade, even when I ate. So while it does, it, while it does transfer and it's not a, you know, all day, wearing. all day wearing, you know, lipstick, it does last several hours before I would have to reapply. So, right. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it would stay there. It, it does fade. Yes. But unless I used a napkin and wiped my mouth, right. you know, then it was gone right. completely. But yes, it did take, it wasn't like, you know, I took one drink and it was disappeared. Right. Yeah. So it did take a little bit to do that. So overall, what do you think? Overall, I really do like the lipstick. I do like how creamy it is. I like that it is pigment in one swipe. So if you just want to, you know, quickly put on lipstick, it's there in one swipe and it's a beautiful, beautiful color. And I do like wearing the lip liner with it. I think it just enhances it. What I will say though is I think that I will pair this with a gloss. I think that this would look really good with a gloss over it. And in fact, they do on their website um, recommend that you use their lip lacquers, the e.l.f. Lip, lac lip lacquers. It pairs well with this, which we tried to get. We ordered a bunch. We wanted them for this video. So, spoiler alert. New video No video coming. coming. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, I do think that these lipsticks would look really great with a gloss on top, but I'm just really happy with it. I really am. It's just something that I know that I'll grab. And yeah. for the price point of $9, you can't beat exactly. that. Exactly. I was going to say you know, for the price point, the quality of the product, I, I just, I really am a fan of these. And one of the things that I absolutely love about this is the magnetic closure great if, feature if you don't if you don't put it out it doesn't it won't go on but as yep. soon as you get it in the right spot it clicks on there and then it, it's really hard to pull you have to pull it apart and i mean if it's in your purse or whatever it's not going to come apart and you're going to have lipstick all over your your inside of exactly your purse. exactly so i that when i saw that that's what it i was like i just <laughs> It is a great, great feature. Yes, yes. So overall, I just love it. I think it's a great new product, and I'm so glad that we tried this. And for the price point, you just can't go wrong. Yeah, and Elf really, like I said, is I really on their game, and they just keep putting out great products. Yep. Well, that's going to do it for this review. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And please don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook because you can find us over there too. And we will see you in the next video. See ya. Bye. Bye.